Ladies and gentlemen, one of my favorite things that I have ever done on this channel is made a series that I do almost weekly where we save money on great Nintendo Switch games. And that's exactly what we're doing today. We're going to save some money on some digital and physical Switch games, and you're going to get to play some cool games for cheap. Let's go ahead and get right into it. Video games are good, but cheap video games are better. Dang. Number one hit, Taylor Swift, watch out. We're saving some money today on some digital and physical Switch games. Very simple premise. Before we get started, if you could, hit a like and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. And Tuesday night and Saturday night, right here on YouTube, I stream. Come hang out. But let's get right into this video. We're going to start with digital games first. And the first game we're talking about is Super Hot. And this is $10 on the eShop. Blurring the lines between cautious strategy and mayhem, Super Hot is a first person shooter in which time moves only when you move. No regenerating health bars, no conveniently placed ammo drops, it's just you. Outnumbered and outgunned, grabbing weapons off fallen enemies to shoot, slice, and maneuver through a hurricane of slow motion bullets. With its unique stylized graphics, Super Hot finally adds something new and disruptive to the FPS genre. Its polished, minimalist visual language helps you focus on what's most important, the fluid gameplay and the cinematic beauty of the fight. This game definitely takes that approach that less is more, and just with the color scheme they went with, it somehow makes it so vibrant and it makes it pop, and this is a really cool game that you get to pick up on sale. The next digital game we're talking about is Subnautica, and this is $9.89 on the eShop. If I was trying to explain Subnautica like in its entirety or in depth, I would need like a 10 hour video. This in my opinion is one of the greatest video games ever created. And on the surface level, it might not seem like that. But guess what? Dumbass, you're not on the surface level, you're underwater in this game. And it gets deep. Get it? You're deep down underwater. Whoa! The simple premise, you're going to scavenge, craft, and survive underneath water. This game can actually almost take on like a horror element as well. It gets creepy. There's a big mystery here. And will you be able to figure it out? I don't know. But that's what makes it so beautiful. You just want to explore and learn as you go. And you can now go on this amazing adventure at a discounted price. Another game that is currently on sale digitally right now is New Super Lucky's Tale. And this is $7.49 on the eShop. One of my favorite genres in gaming of all time is 3D platforming, and this is a classic, it really is, but it also takes on other elements as well, like there's some 2D side-scrolling challenges, there's a bunch of mini games, there's puzzles, there's boss battles. If you've ever enjoyed any amount of 3D platforming ever, you're gonna enjoy this one, and I think this one is really special. The gameplay is tight and fluid, and you're a cute little creature, dude. You're like a little fox, and that's amazing. So if you're looking for your next great 3D platforming adventure, this is the one for you. So the next game couldn't be more of a difference than the last game. And I'm talking about Doom Eternal. And this is currently $10 on the eShop. Do you want to go fast? Do you want to destroy demons and creatures? Do you want to cause mayhem? Do you want to hear badass music? If you said yes to any of these questions, then this is in fact the game for you. It's amazing to see how far Doom has came since the classics back in the day and how amazing it is in modern times and I can't imagine how great it's going to continue to be but this game still holds up. It feels like it could have came out yesterday. There's not a single critique I could find about this game and this is another game that you could have 10 hour videos on to explain the history and the lore and all the things that go into these games and the simplest advice I can give you is to just play it. You're gonna have a lot of fun, you're gonna kill a bunch of stuff, and you're gonna feel badass, and you're gonna do it at a discounted price. So yes, the eShop always has some kind of sell, but physical games, that's where you're really saving the money, right? So let's get into those deals now. The first game we're talking about physically is Persona 5 Tactica, and this is currently $30 at Best Buy and Amazon, and this game just came out two months ago. After a strange incident, the Phantom Thieves wander into a bizarre realm where citizens are living under tyrannical oppression, surrounded by a military group named Legionnaires that find themselves in grave danger until a mysterious revolutionary named Arena rescues them and offers an enticing deal in exchange for their help. What truth lies behind her and the deal she offers to the Phantom Thieves? This is a brand new story with fan favorite characters, and if you know anything about Persona games, you know they are some of the greatest RPGs of all time. They've been doing little like one offsets like with this and Strikers, and it's just adding to the universe. There's also really great 
Persona anime, if you're into anime, I think this game is an easy recommendation. I can't believe it's as cheap as it is, as fast as it is. If you enjoy RPGs or any Persona games or even any kind of tactical games, this is going to be right up your alley. The next game we're talking about is LEGO 2K Drive, and this is currently $29.97 physically at Amazon. So one of my favorite things to do is play kind of any racing game. Like, I'm not really into cars in real life or anything, but I just enjoy racing games. They're a lot of fun. LEGO 2K is really cool because it takes a weird approach. Because I really do play into the whole LEGO concept. And at first you're like, okay, cool, you just build cars out of LEGOs, whatever, right? But it's weird because say you're driving on the fly, if you land in the water, you can turn your car into a boat or into an airplane. And it just works. Like, it feels really cool when it happens because... The cars will like deassemble and reassemble in real time. There's a bunch of different game modes in this one. If you don't like just racing for no reason, there's a story mode here. So you can do that as well. There's also a bunch of mini games. I know everything is compared to like Mario Kart clones these days, but this game does have its own approach and I can appreciate it for that. Also in this game, there is an area called Big Butt County that you race in. And is that not enough to make you purchase this game? The next physical game we're talking about is Borderlands 3 Ultimate Edition. And this is $30 at Amazon and GameStop. I was kind of late to playing Borderlands games. I didn't play it until Borderlands 2 came out. And once that came out, I played that one. I played Borderlands 1. I played the pre-sequel. So when Borderlands 3 came out, I was so excited for it. I absolutely loved it. Borderlands games are either for you or you're just not going to enjoy them at all. One thing that they do perfectly is the cell shaded art style. It just makes the games feel timeless. The stories are always super funny to me and I actually really enjoyed the story in this one. It made it feel like urgent, like you really needed to save the world. Cool things about Borderlands games is there's over a billion guns in every single game. You will never find the same gun twice. I hope this series continues for another two decades at least because there's so many which ways they could take the story. And this is a solid game. It really is. Definitely check this one out. So the last game we're talking about today, I didn't even know had a physical edition. And I'm talking about Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. This is $32.45 at Amazon and Walmart. This is probably one of the most surprising and amazing games that just kind of dropped out of nowhere last year. I don't even know how I would begin to explain this game. As you can see, it definitely takes inspiration from Jet Set Radio, and there's like battling kind of going on, but you use like rhythm to do it, so it's kind of a rhythm game, but it's kind of not. Like, I really don't know how I can even explain this game. It's truly a gem, though. It really is. I didn't think this was going to come to the Switch. I really felt like, I don't know why some of these really good games just missed the Nintendo Switch for some reason, but it did. So then I especially thought, well, it's definitely only going to be in the digital version. And to see a physical version and to see it be as cheap as it is already, this is an easy game that you want to add to your collection. It has tons of replayability, so I really hope you get a chance to play this one. Ladies and gentlemen, there was some digital Switch games and some physical Switch games. And you could buy a digital and a physical and get a deal on both. Whoa, looky there! Down below, let me know your thoughts and opinions. As always, I would love to hear from you guys. And follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you could. Once I get some more followers on both those platforms, I want to start posting gaming news on both of those. So I would appreciate a follow. And uh, you guys know me. I'll see you soon with a new video. Peace out. <laughs>